Welcome back to STL TV Live. I'm Janelle Higgins. Reggie Foreman and Jay Seville from Godly Image 3 are still joining us here right now. And you were talking in the last segment about a video that you guys put together. So I'm interested in knowing more about this video. How did it come about? What's the message in it? Just tell me a little bit about it. Well, the, the vision of the video came out because I have a lot of things written up that I haven't been able to put on film. And then one of my friends who um, does filming, just came to me and said he seen one. Of, I was putting it on the Facebook with my own camera phone. He said he could do better and you need to be doing more. So this is the scenes where we're talking about how everyone is creating in God's image, but we're trying to go against the religious teachings that you have to look a certain format to serve God and love God. So this is scene is where I'm dressed up like an old time preacher. And Jay and Trina, I'm talking about their tattoos and saying, how do you think you're godly because you got all these tattoos? And that's what we're talking about, that you are a godly image because you're creating his images in spite of what you have on you, what you're going through. So that's what the video is about, just to be to put out in a comical way, but also in a serious note on the film. Sure, about how long is this film? Uh, 10 minutes and 49 seconds. Oh wow, it's 10 minutes. Mm -hmm. So that was like a big a commitment film. for you guys to make that. Yes it was, yes it was. I had a lot of lines to memorize, Jay, that wasn't your favorite part, right? <laughs> that's okay, this is much easier. No memorization here at all. <laughs> so besides making videos and other things, you guys have some great events coming up, right? that you guys want to talk about today? Right. Well, Can you tell me a little bit about those? They're in August, so people have a few months to mark their calendars mm -hmm. and save the date for these events. Well, the first event is August 10th. It's um, happening at the Dream Center at my church. It's going to be our anti-bullying event where I'm going to bring people up and speak of my testimony about being bullied and how they can live determined in spite of all they've been through. So that's on August 10th. And what time is that one at? Uh, it starts at 10 a.m on a Saturday to 2 p.m. Okay, so it's 10 to 2 at the Dream Center. You're going to be speaking. What else will be going on there for people uh, We'll have performances. Uh, my friend Jay will speak and do Miami. Then we'll have another uh, Christian fraternity. They will do a, a group. And I'm thinking about putting on the play that we did for the, um, the short film and reacting it for the kids. And bullying is such a hot topic these days. <sighs> it's something that I went through in my life. And, it, and that's what kind of pushed me more into the streets and becoming a thug because I used to get bullied. And then that's what made me get more and more into gangs and stuff. And I want to tell them the other side of being bullied where you become someone that you didn't want to be. Sure. And then you guys also have another event coming up right after that, right? Yes, that's at, that's actually at my church at St. Louis Harvest. Um, that's a mime slash worship event. It'll be more of a revival. So it's just fully about worship and just sticking it to worship, what worship's brought us through, how um, miming reveals worship and just letting people have their way in the church, just worship the way they want to and letting God have the, his way with them. And that's at 645 at your church, right? Yes. Okay, and so how did you get involved in miming? I'm just curious. It's not something that a lot of people you know, have. It's a great skill to have though. So how did you even get involved in that? The funny story is, the person who brought me to Christ, helped bring me to Christ, was my son's mom, my older son, and her husband. And they were mimers, so they kind of got me into it. As we were like real close, we started getting closer, and they got me into it. Okay, and so yes. what can people expect from that show exactly? Um, just God revealing himself, truly revealing himself, and just his hand being on our church. Great. And I'll speak also on yes, worship. Yeah. I'll give a message on worship. So you'll be there as well mm -hmm. for that one. There. Yeah. You're everywhere. Well, well this you, is our, we're, we're partners. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you started it, but you guys are definitely partners yeah, in this yeah. for sure. Yes. And so what if someone sees this and they want to become a part of Godly Image? How can they do that? Well, they can reach us at, like I said, the website is IamGodlyImage.com. And they can, on Facebook is Reginald Godly Image Foreman. And my Facebook is J Unpluggable Seville. But the website is IamGodlyImage.com. Yes. And what would your guys' message be to someone out there who maybe is struggling? You guys both have, you know, backgrounds that maybe you could relate to them. So what would your message be to those people out there watching today that maybe feel a little hopeless or feel ashamed of their past and feel like they can't overcome it? My, my main, main reason is that God is not mad at you. That God loves you where you are and that once you read and find out that you're creating his image, he has a purpose for you. Once you find purpose, you begin to have a, you begin to drive and live determined. And God will meet you where you are. You don't have to dress yourself up. He'll meet you right where you are and bring you to a higher purpose. That's a great message, and Jay? Uh, mine would be just that you don't have to keep searching. 
you don't have to search. I searched everywhere. I searched in drugs. I've searched in women. I've searched in parties and money and everything. And what I was really searching for was God. And if you just reach reach out and put your hand to God, then he'll grab a hold of you and lift you up. Great message. And you guys are doing great work around the St. Louis area and even reaching Africa. So thank you for what you guys are doing. We appreciate it. And good luck. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. Well, there's more show to come on STL TV Live, so don't you go anywhere.